Welcome back to another episode of Morgan's World. Today, we are gonna go to Tractor Supply. We're gonna buy a rubber mat. We're gonna build a archery target range in our backyard, an archery backstop target. This is something my brother actually showed me. It's a rubber uh, stall mat that you put as a backstop for your arrows. Way better than hay bales because it doesn't rot and decompose and it stops those arrows and they're easy to pull out of. They don't get buried in that hay. Um, they hold up really well and they look a little cleaner. Um, I was really impressed with it. So let me show you how we're gonna do that at our backyard farm here. And uh, so first we gotta do is load the kids up and head to Tractor Supply. Haley is loading up the Shetlands. If you guys haven't checked out the uh, podcast that Haley and I are doing now, check it out because uh, I think some of you would find that interesting. First time for us all to go to a tractor supply store. What do you think of that, Abel? Woo! I just know they got the best deal on a stall mat if you got a farm. This is it. Tractor supply. What do you guys think of the store? Look at that dog on it! We gotta get some dog food for the boys. It's an absolute giant live track. You could definitely trap Haley in that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep it looking. Are you guys wanna treat the dogs to a treat? Come on, come here. Go, let's go down the treat, dog treat aisle. You know what dogs love? What? They love canned dog food. What? They can't resist. Man. Used to be like 89 cents. How can they not resist? All right, I'll let you guys each pick one for the dogs. Okay, I'm yours. Go I'm for it. River, you get to pick one for, uh... wait, who's feeding who? One gets Dexter and one gets Bear. Um, I want to do Dexter. Okay. River, pick one for Bear. This one? Yeah. Okay, that one's for Bear. Kind of looks like Bear. Wait, can I see? A bear. Can I see? Can I see? <laughs> oh, that does kind of look like Bear. All right, Abel, pick one for Dexter. Yeah. Plus. Tell him why you, why'd you pick that one? Because it looks like Dexter, kind of. Okay, so. It has white and brown. Good marketing, I guess. Got to find that rubber mat for the archer target. Which one are we picking, guys? We need a salt block for our sheep. Got to spoil them, too. I think white is the safe one to stick with. Because I know there's, like, certain things you can't give sheep. The white, the white is, like, safe for the sheep. I know that. Oh, and it's the cheapest. <laughs> Look at that, six bucks for a 50 pound salt block. That's not bad. <laughs> All right. Haley's angry. She doesn't like my car seat. It's a lot. You want to see her get madder? Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> I was like, you want to see her get madder, boys? <laughs> Those are the ones right there. Perfect. Yeah. All right, we're halfway there. We are locked and loaded. Nice guy. He was saying that he shot bows as a kid with his dad oh, no. until uh, they moved to Arizona. Then he kind of dropped it and never picked it back up. But uh, that happens. I have been out of archery for a couple of years. This hopefully will get me back into it, but I need a bow. So we'll start by shooting the old stick and string. 
All right, to the grocery store. Didn't you want to go to Buy Mart too? Yeah, I'll probably stop there and grab a Target. Okay. They don't need to see that though. This is about the range. Okay. So we're gonna make a couple more stops because we're gonna barbecue today, um, but we'll see you back at the farm. All right, that's close enough. Let's go surprise our little flock of sheep with a nice succulent little white uh, salt block. All right, Abel wants a lick. Why, I don't know. Oh, Abel. Every <laughs> okay. He's addicted to salt, okay? I know you, I don't thing. recommend that for your kids, but mine won't stop. I love salt. Treats. Treats. I just can't resist salt. Maybe you need some Gatorade. Don't keep going. Oh man. They haven't had salt. They haven't had salt in so long. I don't know if they'll know what to do. It's gonna take them a minute, but once they get used to it, they love it. They almost need it. Look at him. That big, big hairball is going for it. Our sheep look happy, so objective number one is done. You guys want to uh, surprise the dogs with the uh, the dog food? Yeah, they can't resist it. Okay, guys, so you want to know how I got this bandaid on my foot? Try to see it doesn't start. But I didn't know where I was going, and I stepped. Oh, I just smashed this one down. And then I stepped on a nail. That the nail, the nail that Morgan was the was that the nail that I stepped on? Yeah, dude. Moral of the story: Don't ever leave any boards up with nails, because Abel will find them and step on them with his bare feet. Here you go, Riv. Feed it to Bear. How did you get the rivers open? Oh, same one. You happy you gave that to Bear Bear? Mm-hmm. You're ready to be spoiled. There you go, Dex. Oh man, he is just gonna go ham. No. Look at him just devouring it. He loves it. <laughs> he loves that, huh, Abel? Yeah, look at him. He's going to town. I think you picked a good one for him. You like doing that? <laughs> Look how much he ate that thing in like two seconds, man. One, one second. Oh, old give Dexter. Me more, give me more. Give me more. I'll look that. Give me more. <laughs> he loved that. We're gonna build my archery course here, and the boys are gonna help me. So that'll be the main part of this video. Let's get this archery range built. All right, boys. Let's head down to the target. Let's get this thing built. All right, Riv. I need to tape measure those like on the in the bear stick them in the bear so they don't get lost Abel so what we got four four foot by six foot I'd say we'll do the post like six and a half feet apart we are going to dig these posts down so we can sink the post and build the frame for the target Okay, there's one down. Got to get one more to go. Oh yeah. Okay, time to set these posts. It's kind of an uneven terrain, so we'll have to modify it and do it our own way here. All right, Abel, uh, give me the level. Okay. All right, the first post is down, and now we got to drop the second one in. And, uh, and then you'll kind of see how this comes together pretty quick after that. Perfect, that's pretty good. River, can you help him throw dirt in? Yeah. 
All right, our next step is to get the two by four cross member. We're gonna put that across and then we're gonna anchor that in. And uh, then that's gonna be what the uh, mat attaches to. So we're getting close. On the top, rest it on the top. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, so we have our backstop in. This is a super sweet backstop. Three quarter stall mat from any grain supply. You shoot it. Careful, Abel, I don't want you to be too hard on it yet. These posts are still pretty loose. See, this one needs the dirt. See how it's swinging? But anyways, it'll, it'll stop an arrow and uh, makes a great backstop so you don't shoot by the neighbors or anything. One thing I gotta do, cause it's uneven, is I gotta throw dirt on this side of it, just to give it a little backstop underneath so if the kids shoot under, it doesn't, doesn't go past. But we do have grade back here. And then I got my little Bymark target here. Which we can throw like that. Catch. I got him. What is it? I don't know. Oh gosh. You gonna feed it to the fish? Yeah, I'm gonna try. Try another stick and pinch it with the two. Okay, me. Ah! Break sure. that one in half. Usher me. Usher me. Caterpillar. It is some sort of caterpillar. I don't wanna know I don't wanna know if it's poisonous. If you guys ever have these caterpillars. Just make sure they're po not poisonous. If you ever touch them, just... If you know what caterpillar this is or it's not poisonous, we can touch it with our hands. We just don't know if it's poisonous or not. So I'm trying to try to touch Bye. it. Oh. Slide them out in the deeper water. There you go. All right guys, well, we made our freaking archery target. So now we gotta shoot it. I threw some dirt along the bank because of the grade. I don't want the arrows to slip underneath. But man, we're gonna test this out and I already know this thing works awesome. All right, well, we got our backstop up. We got our target built. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. I will show you guys, hopefully a clip here, where I shoot into this mat or maybe my brother's mat, which is the same design, and it stops a full compound bow. But unfortunately, with the kids, uh, they have lost or managed to lose over the course of this year and last year, like 24 arrows. Dad, I'm just and uh, shoot. so I got no arrows. I'm just going to shoot. Good shot. How does that not go in? Uh, it doesn't have a tip. So anyways, I have ordered a new bow because my old bow broke and I've ordered arrows and I will be shooting this, um, but for the meantime, let's let the boys shoot a little bit. Like curl your fingers around, yeah, like that. There you go, stuck him. I almost stuck the heart. 
Go ahead, get your arrows, Riv. Right there is the heart. Right where the skirt is. Yep. Here, Dad. Hey. Well, see you in the, in the next video. Bye. Cheese. <laughs>